Dr. Uh, welcome to the screencast. In this screencast, I'm going to walk you through the Tinkercad lesson on the chess pawn. So let's get started. So go to Tinkercad and hit learn. When you do that, right, you can go to lessons and you'll see the chess pawn here. Click on that. Right, and if you've uh, I've already started it, right, you get here, you'll have to click on resume. If you haven't started, it'll say start. And you get an option to restart the project there. So just click on start. And you'll be taken to an empty work plane with the uh, instructions on the left hand panel over here. So let's see what it uh, has to say. So click next. So drag a cylinder to the shape out there. Does not have to be exact. Let's put it out there. Scale it to three millimeters. All right, so you can drag this down or you can click on that center dot and just enter the number three and then enter. That will do it also. Okay, next. Now we're going to drag a work plane to the top of the cylinder. So the work plane is here and what this is going to do if you click this and bring it here to the top of the cylinder anything you drag out here now any shape this will go at the on top of the surface of the cylinder now the blue work plane is still down there right All right so anything we do now is going to be on the surface of on the cylinder and this is really handy if you're handy if you're going to build something um on multiple multiple services and the computer will make sure it's exactly on that surface okay so drag a cone shape let's find a cone it's here bring it forward just a bit okay and it's on the, this is on the work plane this cone is on the work plane And we're going to scale the shape so uh, to make it shorter to uh, 11 millimeters. So it's 20. I'm going to make it 11. Okay, next. And we're going to drag a sphere out here. Done. And scale the sphere to a diameter of 18 millimeters. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hold the shift key and I can. You know, grab any one of these handles. So I'll hold the shift key and just down two, two millimeters to 18. Okay, all the dimensions moved uh, together if you hold the shift key. Squish it, scale it to shorter to a height of five millimeters. So that's this one. I do not hold the shift key and bring it down to five and just move it to the target area. And that's, uh, that's pretty close. It's close enough. <clears throat> We're going to align this all later. Drag a cone shape to here. Again, this is still at the same height of the uh, surface of the original uh, cylinder there. We're going to scale this to a height of 28 millimeters. And the diameter, that is the circular base, needs to be 14. All right, so I'm going to try and do this. I've got 14 that way. Carefully, good. There we go. And move the cone to the target area here in orange. And then lift it three millimeters off the work plane. So grab the arrow here. One, two, three. Looks good. I can see from the side that, you know, I really don't have it at that align very well. Okay, that'll do for now. We're going to align this all later. Okay, let's move on. Drag another cone out here. Done. Scale it, uh, the diameter to 12 millimeters. So 12 each way, 12 this way, 12 that way. And the height needs to be 19. So just a down one millimeter. Okay, and then we'll put it a little closer to the target area. Rotate the cone 180 degrees. Okay, so we're going to turn it upside down. I'm going to come here and I'm going to stay to the inside. There's 90, there's 180. 
And then it says move, the instruction here is move the, uh, this cone, upside down cone, the inverted cone, to the target area in orange. Well, that's here, but if I look at it, I notice it's actually higher. So I can move it over there, but I also need to lift it. It looks like I need to lift it maybe five millimeters. Yeah. And just center it a little bit better. That's good enough there. Okay, next. Drag a work plane to the top of the cone. So now we're gonna work on this top surface of this uh, inverted cone. Okay, so work plane. And we're gonna, boom, right there. So now everything we do is gonna be on the surface of uh, this uh, upside down cone. Okay, we need a sphere. There it is. <clears throat> and we're going to make it 8 by 8 by 8 millimeters. So I'm going to hold the Shift key again and reduce this down to 8. There we go. Looks good. And maybe I can move it over a little more. There we go. Okay. Next, drag a work plane to the original. Okay, so hit work plane and then the original blue work plane down there. And that essentially gets rid of any other work planes that we've been working on. Okay, this is what it looks like so far. It kind of looks like it's a mess, but we're not done yet. Okay, now we're going to do an alignment. So select all the shapes. The way you can do that, an easy way to do that is you can click and draw a box around all of them. Right? You can also use Control A on the keyboard shortcut. That will select everything. Then we're going to do an alignment. This is the align tool here. And we're going to align the middle that's here. Click on this dot, aligns them to the middle, and then align to this dot that way. Okay, next. And then we're going to group everything. So I still have everything selected. And here's the group button. And it will turn all one color. If it does, you know you, you did it right. And there's the target shape, and there's our, our chest palm. And I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Okay, I hope this helps. Get down there. Okay, bye.